What is up guys, I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and one of the most asked things I do get as a web developer is to build a better header than the ones the free themes already do offer in Shopify. And today I wanna to show you one you can easily get yourself without spending hundreds of dollars for a developer like me. Let's just have a quick look onto it. So this is the one you can see right here. If I go on about, I can see a couple points right here, which link to certain pages. And if you click on shop, you can see this really nice list of products, which the shop does offer. It works perfectly fine for bigger or smaller stores. If you just offer a few products, this is perfectly fine. But if you have a bigger shop, you can also include all the collections you already have. And underneath it, you can also show the pictures. I'm going to show you in a couple easy steps how you can do that and get this lovely header for yourself. So I was using an app for this. This app is called Section Store. It's a component library with over 400 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. Here you can see a little mobile version as well. And those are all the things you can customize. So there's a lot of things you can do. And yeah, like I said, instead of paying hundreds of dollars for developers like me, you can get this one for a one-time fee of $9. So I think at the end of the day, that is a pretty good deal. And before you're actually able to start rocking this action. And here in the interface, you can see you have those add to theme blocks right here. In my case, it is the DOM light theme I'm gonna add it to, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. Then simply hit customize in and select the theme you just installed it to. It does work on every theme, so don't worry about that neither. And then simply open up your theme editor. I've already done so right here. I created a little demo version of for this one so i just added it to the section right here to make sure it's going to be on every page let's just save it up real quick i want to show you how it looks in default so if you do click on shop you can see here it's going to pick all the ones from the main menu so if i click on shop right there you can see the sub menu is going to be main menu and yeah i can even select the link if I click on shop itself. So it's maybe gonna direct us to an overview of all our collections, but I could easily change the menu right here. You can just create your own account menu. So here we're just gonna pick the main menu because it does contain all the blocks which are important for us. But yeah, in the Shopify admin area, you can create different menus and just customize it the way you like. But for example, if you wouldn't wanna see all those points right here and just wanna actually see the products displayed, you can add a menu point right there. And this one I'm gonna call bestsellers. You can see it right there. I'm gonna maybe link it to a collection as well, which is the one we're gonna direct it to anyways. Maybe in this case, it's going to be backpacks and the limit product is going to be six. And here I can simply just select the products or I can just pick the, the backpack collection. So if I click on it and select it, and here I'm going to see the, the backpacks. So this is working perfectly fine. And if I would want to do it with just the products, I could add another one. And maybe we're going to call this one hot stuff. And here I want to select the products individually. So this is how this works. Let's maybe just select six. And in the next step, you should be able to see here we have them all selected just want to get rid of this one if you want to you can also just add a page to it but here I want to have a bit more to it so if I hover over hot stuff you can see those six products are getting displayed perfectly fine and if I want to do some changes to the main thing itself I can simply just click on the header block itself and the first thing it's going to ask me if I want to have it sticky if it's going to be scroll up so if I go here and scroll up again, it's simply going to appear again. I think that's look pretty nice as well. If I select it to transparent background, it will kind of fuse with the background it's on. I do think that one looks really nice too. And yeah, if I go down a bit, we can see the mobile menu as well. So this is something which is also getting implemented. So here's just one menu will get shown. You're not going to see the pictures on mobile, but yeah, let's switch back to desktop. And you can also see the gap and the menu list blocks if I put this up a bit more it's also going to be really nicely looking and yeah a lot of other things you can customize and change with that whole thing and I don't want to go into detail too much I think at the end of the day you want to also customize it to your likings I just want to show you one last thing with the logo if I include this it's going to get changed as well and here you can just tweak around how big the logo is going to be and a lot of other things so for example if I would put down the width here the logo would get smaller so there are a bunch of things you can change with that whole thing. And all the way down here, you can change all the colors. 
inside the thing. And if I want the icon instead of the card thing, I could do that as well. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found it useful. And if you have questions, I'm always there for you in the YouTube comment section. Always feel free to leave a like and a follow, of course, if you like the video. And yeah, with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.